Hello, Donna here. Welcome to my life tags. I want to give you an exercise that is great for your heart. An exercise that is not about you running around and doing a cardiovascular activity like running uh, for miles and miles. It's actually something that would do your heart a lot of good while sitting comfortably somewhere at home, in a park, in the office, in your car, wherever you are. It doesn't matter if you're a smoker, it doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter what your current lifestyle is. But what does matter is that you care enough to give your heart a bit of TLC. Now often in yoga practices, in yoga classes or the concept out there is yoga is not good for the heart. This could not be further from the truth because in yoga the pranayama, the breathing practices do a lot of good for the heart and the more we're studying it, Matt and I are always looking at different, we always cross train, we look at different places, not just the yogic books but we also follow what goes on and what researches are being done we find out about other people that are into it, including free divers or, you know, the Iceman, for example. Anybody out there who's curious enough about, enough about their breath, we look and we study to understand more and more. And we can say confidently that it's fantastic for the heart. One of the, uh, the, the, the exercises I want to give you does one of the amazing things for the heart, which is to improve heart rate variability. It's a, it's a relatively new concept for me. I didn't know it existed and I've been doing some studying and it's fascinating. The heart is so clever. The body is so, so, so intelligent. It's unbelievable. Now, you know, we have a heart rate. Um, so we know how many beats per second the heart is beating. God bless this little cousin sucks doesn't have socks, but hey. Um, we know about heart rate, but did you know that your heart decides when the next beat is going to beat? So bit by bit, it decides time gap between the beats. So although the heart rate, okay, you listen, you listen or you feel it and you say 60, 70 beats per, per minute, every single beat, there is a little bit of a time difference between one bit to the other, to the next, compared to the next two. So there's always a difference in time gap. As you can see, I'm getting my head around it. So the idea is a healthy heart is one where the, it's not a constant, the bits don't go one, the distance between two bits are not just one second, one second, one second, one second. That they're kind of one second, two, or 0 0.9 second or 0 0.8 something second. So there's a, a good variety, variability between each heart beat. Now, the older you are, the least, um, the, the less um, fit you are, uh, depending on your lifestyle, if you are um, not fit, if you don't do a lot of exercises, if you smoke, all of that kind of thing, it affects the heart rate variability. It makes it a little bit more constant in a way. You could think of it that way compared to somebody who is fit, whose every single heartbeat is kind of changing or is, is quick to change from one to the next. So one could be really, really short distance, one could be longer. So it knows, in other words, the way I understand it is that the heart really is good at adapting to the situation. So one minute it looks at something, it could be dangerous, it kind of beats a little bit faster. The next minute everything is okay, it can beat a bit slower. And so it's really adjusting moment to moment um, what needs to be done. So the exercise that we are going to do um, is this. Before I tell you, I'm going to get there. Before I tell you, I want your commitment that in the next 24 hours, you're going to commit 10 minutes of your time to it. If you find it's good, please, at the end of that 10 minutes, write down somewhere 
commit another time to do it again. I cannot tell you how joy, how much joy is going to bring to your life and how much joy is going to bring to my life if I know that you have, by watching this video, added something as valuable as that to your daily routine. It's good for you. If it's good for you, it's good for everybody around you. And eventually it comes back to me. <laughs> because at the end of the day, we're all on the same boat. If you're good, I'm good and vice versa. So it's a very selfish thing really. So the exercise, the practice is, are you ready? You're going to exhale and inhale for the same amount of time. So your exhalation is going to last as long as your inhalation. Your inhalation is going to last as long as your exhalation. And you carry on. So you start with exhaling. You can count one, two, three, four, five as you exhale. So it could be less, it could be more. And then you're going to inhale for the same amount of time, for the same number of seconds. If you feel that you're don't have that much breath or to have it you've got to have to move your shoulders and everything or you feel there's a bit of block in the body don't do as, as much next time for your next breath exhale a little bit less so um, for a less um, amount of time you might have to speed up your exhalation so you exhale and then you inhale let me just carry on that i've got a phone call coming so you exhale in, in, in for, for the same amount of time as you inhale. Now, key is that you don't strain yourself. You don't try too hard. And you go with the pace that feels right for you. It could start with four, four, three, three, and then it can go to five, it can go to six, or even more. Do it as much that eventually one day, maybe in the next couple of weeks or so, or a month or so, you might be able to do five seconds, five seconds comfortably, which is six beats per, uh, six breaths per minute. And if you do it that way, even if it's not, whatever you do, if you do this one, one ratio, equal ratio, you'll do a lot of good. If you get to five, five, that's wonderful but again no strain so i do hope that by watching this video you're going to make that commitment to do this at least at least in the next 24 hours 10 minutes and if you do and it feels good before you know it you want to when you finish it you want to make a note so you would do it the next day okay i hope that will be encouraging and see you soon